So now we come to step three, the stretching and uh, uh, grounding of the canvas. And if you ever have tried to stretch a canvas like the one behind me, you know it's not possible to do it by hand. So for that reason we use glue. So this is basically what we need for step three. It's first of all some kind of animal glue that is uh, best comparable with gelatin, so nothing really special, it's just unused for our ears um, in these times. However, that's the best natural glue that we know of um, and since centuries. Alternatively, you also can use um, for a, a binder, like, however this one is not that strong as animal glue. Then from time to time you need um, to grind the canvas to make it um, even. Later on also the color. Um, there's different receipts for the uh, grounding of canvas. I use um, color for the exterior painting of houses. Um, very high quality dispersion color. So first we need to um, resolve this glue in water. So this is, this is what it looks like, a granulate. And um, it's really difficult to determine the amount you need. Secondly, we need to resolve it with water. If you take warm water, it's faster. And uh, as a general benchmark, this glue absorbs about four times the water uh, of its own size within a couple of hours. And the time we need to steer it now. As I said, you have to stir it a lot from time to time because if you don't do that, um, this happens, so it doesn't dissolve. It's not a problem. In this case, just put the whole bucket um, on the top of hot water and then it will dissolve easier. So when you've done this right, then in short time um, all the granulate will be dissolved and you have a glue like here, and then add some more water. Also add some of the glue on the back side to fix uh, the weaving. And to make sure it doesn't get attached to um, anything else, you might put something underneath while waiting. So see, it's already getting stretched. So after a while the glue gets dry and the canvas is better stretched than you could achieve it by hand. Then you can proceed to the last steps, which is to grind the cut on the canvas on and to ground it. Add some water.
So now after the last grinding you're basically done. And you have a completely stretched canvas that is suitable for basically every kind of painting. And you also can change the color like with this one. So this is the process that works for basically every size of canvas. When the canvas starts to not get stretched again, for example due to humidity, please remember to use the wedges. We didn't use them so far, but that's basically the reason for using wedge frames. And also please remember that this is just an exemplary process. You can adapt it as you like. For example, with the primer, um, you can put more on it or use less, and by that vary your surface. So thanks a lot and uh, don't hesitate to comment if you have any questions.